Hello and welcome back to my workshop. Um, I recently picked up a load of clamps second hand. I'm a big fan of picking up tools second hand. Maybe not power tools so much because you don't know what sort of life they've been given, but manual tools like clamps and saws and stuff like that, I think um, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. So I found somebody who was selling off a lot of stuff, closing down his workshop, and he had a load of clamps. Um, now it's something I struggled with is clamping a small piece like this, when I just want to route an edge and you know run a, a router down to sort of round over the edge. Um, I tried doing it in my vice, couldn't really get a hold of how I was going to do that. Tried sort of clamping it in that way and running the router down the edge, that wasn't really very satisfactory. I tried using this sort of um, step off device, and again, couldn't really find any way, any decent way to do it. So, what I tended to go for was my. Uh, spreader clamps and I would clamp it down to the workbench. The problem being that there's an awful lot of there's an awful lot of clamp in the way. If I want to run my router down the down the edge, I can only get about halfway down, three quarters of the way down, and then this gets in the way. And um, it's just yeah, I, I, I've, I've never really found a satisfactory way of. Uh, and I, I considered uh, drilling dig dog holes into my uh, workbench. So that I could, you know, put doggies in. Nothing, nothing. I hadn't really come up with a satisfactory answer until I saw this guy had these ratchet F clamps. Yeah. So t typically, these would be used for going into the rail underneath the track saw uh, and holding the the, the track down. Um, and also, I have seen people use them when they have got doggies in their workbench. They they stick them in through the dog hole and then they they use them to clamp down like this. But actually, I've found these to be incredibly versatile. Um, so they have uh, the sort of the this conventional F clamp style, where effectively, as you as you tense the, the as you put uh, clamping pressure on, effectively that's what locks it in place. So it runs up and down freely until you put pressure on. Um, so these adjust nicely, and then once you've got them roughly adjusted, you just use the ratchet, and that is actually that's if you put one of those on either end. That's going absolutely nowhere. The great thing is that I can now run my router all the way down here um, because these are just so much less intrusive. You could even actually um, do them the other way up um, so that you actually have the ratchet underneath and um, yeah, now I think I could actually route all the way along to the end. There you go. I can, write all, I can route the whole length of that if I just turn those two upside down. So I've been using these a lot in the last few weeks and they're my new best friend clamp wise. Now on Amazon I checked this morning and they were wanting um, £36, two of these. I managed to pick up four of them for £30. So you know kind of 30, 50 percent ish discount which I think is very reasonable and they've got absolutely no wear and tear on them at all. It doesn't really look to me as if they've actually been particularly used. There's no marks on them at all. So, absolute bargain. Um, and I'm very pleased with those. As I say, really versatile, especially for clamping small pieces like this. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully that's useful information. Um, if you've got any questions or any comments, please put them down below. If you've got time to subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. And if you've got time to like the video, also great. Helps me to get the numbers up. And until next time. Stay safe.